In the early 90s, Death Row was founded, well, Death Row Records was founded by Dr. Dre and Suge Knight. And it propelled some of the greatest artists of all time, like Snoop Dogg, The Dog Pound, Lady of Rage, and we know the late, great, legendary Tupac even joined Death Row. MC Hammer was even a part of Death Row. There's a long list. But Suge Knight would be infamous for this record label because it generated billions of dollars, believe it or not, and it's still making money. But this will surprise a lot of people. Death Row was just so to Hasbro toys. The link for this article will be in the description. So, Death Row Records is now owned by the Hasbro Toy Company. Hasbro, the company behind My Little Pony, Light Bright, and Furbies has expanded into the world of gangster rap. According to the Rolling Stones, the toy and board game brand is now the likely owner of Death Row Records. The story West Coast imprint that launched the careers of Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Daz Dillinger, and more. Hasbro reportedly acquired Death Row's disc discography with the $4 billion purchase of Entertainment One, a multimedia company that has its hands in TV, film, and music. As pointed out by Rolling Stone, E1 became Death Row's parent company when it bought the label's catalog for approximately $280 million in 2013, about seven years after Death Row declared bankruptcy. The acquisition of E1 as beloved story-led global family brands that deliver strong operating returns to Hasbro's portfolio and provides a pipeline of new brand creation-driven by family-orientated storytelling. Hasbro CEO Brian Goldner said in a statement, family-orientated storytelling is unclear as Goldner is aware that many death row <laughs> projects came with the parental adversary label. With the E1 acquisition, Hasbro now owns popular kids brands like Peppa Pig and PJ Masks. This is just so unexpected, but money talk and BS talk. What do you guys think about Death Row and all of its discography now owned by Hasbro Toys? Subscribe.